Welcome back, folks. Rudy with Alpha Investments. And, of course, uh, my patron Mario all the way in Canada says, Rudy, I can do it. He says he can do it. Folks, you heard it here first. The gentleman in Canada who has Mario's gaming channel, he has his own little uh, world of cardboard up there. He says, Rudy, just straight up, man, I'm going to show you how to get 10 Shocklands on the 10 Shockland Challenge video. And I said, you know, Mario, uh... I, I, I appreciate it. You're awfully confident over there in Canada, but uh, I, I it's not easy to do, man. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Uh, I think the closest I know we had a we've had it happen a long time ago, like when the sets were released. But recently doing it, I, the closest we've been able to get is uh, I think one of the young ladies who's a patron. She got nine shocklands. So good luck, Mario, and uh, remember, if he gets crushed in the face with like zero Shocklands or one, make sure you go to Mario's gaming channel. Just drop him an F to pay respect to his losses. So here we go. We got Vampire Assassin, pack one, and uh, that's it. We want to see, can he actually get 10 Shocklands? And along the way, we're going to talk a little bit about the old guilds of Ravnica and Allegiance here and uh, see how things are going. So... Without further ado, a lot of people have asked the question of, Rudy, uh, what's the deal with these? Like, nobody talks about guilds or allegiance anymore. I mean, it was such a big deal when, like, we were returning to return to return to Ravnica. And then all of a sudden, it just, like, disappeared. Like, people only talk about either War of the Spark, the older sets, or the new stuff. Like, the Ravnica block. What's going on, man? Oh, Ferrix. I, I keep thinking that's a rare every time I do that. Mythic number one. A nice little giant beast, not worth a whole lot. So let me let me give you my perspective on these Ravnica sets right now, everyone. Uh, these are kind of a I don't want to say like forgotten, but they're uh, they're kind of they're kind of in this in between thing. Because what happened was right after these Ravnica sets, War of the Spark hit, and it was such a major thing when War of the Spark came out that it just like these things were just kind of pushed to the side. The sales and demand for War of the Spark were just unbelievable. So, here we are. This product is not fully technically... Oh, there's our first one. Overgrown Tomb. Coming through. Shockland number one. Technically, Guilds and Allegiance, although they're quote-unquote out of print as in they're not making more of the product, technically, there's still a little bit of the product at the distribu uh, distribution distributor level that has kind of dripped out. You can't order a bazillion boxes, but, I mean, you can get small amounts. And the last I checked, that's where this product is. So the supply is a little tighter than something like War of the Spark or the newer Throne and, the, of course, obviously the Pharos and the newer stuff. As you get older, things start to get a little bit uh, tighter as we go across there. But again, ooh, Arc Like Phoenix. There we go. Fantastic Mythic number two. Oops, that's the Shockland pile. But again, like I was going to say, everybody, remember, Wizards is closed, so we don't have any real updated information on any print runs of anything going on or any supplies of anything temple garden there we go oh god i thought we had something spicy back there shockley and number two all right mario i'm impressed i'm impressed you got two shocks on the first way on the first chunk of 12 packs in the left part of the box this is a really strong start Ooh, pelt collector very nice rare and a little uncommon foil personally i really bashed on the uh the ravnica sets when they came out because i couldn't believe we were doing a return to return to ravnica I was like, really? Again? Like, we just, we've had so many Ravnica sets. I was just kind of like, really? <laughs> the Elephant Cleric always cracks me up. But, I mean, I'm not going to, I got to call it how I see it. While it's kind of annoying that we kind of, it just kind of is like, really? Another Ravnica? I mean, the reality is, oh, that's a beautiful card. Dawn of Hope. Sorry, everybody got distracted there. The reality is the Ravnica sets are good products. They sold good. Um, they're probably going to age very well. I know it's kind of crazy sounding, but I actually wouldn't be surprised if Guilds and Allegiance, this Ravnica block, actually performs better long term for the sealed product. And I actually wouldn't, I know this is going to sound crazy, everybody. I actually think there's a probability that's actually pretty realistic. Ugh, these stupid split cards. I actually think there's a good chance that Guilds and Allegiance actually becomes more expensive than Return to Ravnica and Gate Crash, even though... The product is like seven, eight years newer. Ooh, Chromatic Lantern. There she is. Very nice rare. One of the best rares in the set. And that does happen. I actually think the newer Ravnica sets are probably going to age better and actually become more expensive and outrun the old one. I nice. And it happens every once. It's super rare, but it has happened before. 
Um, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> kind of is what it is there, everyone. And Kamadre. Yeah, Mulderhawk. Yeah. All right, well, we're still at two Shocklands, everyone. But yeah, I mean, it's very surprising how well these Ravnica sets actually turned out. I almost feel like Guilds and Allegiance was, ooh, ooh, Vraska coming through. Mythic number three. Sorry, mix up my Shocklands and Mythic piles. I feel like the, this particular Ravnica block feels better engineered and designed than the uh, Return to Ravnica, you know, and of course the Gate Crash, in obviously Dragon's Maze, you know, when they have the three block sets instead of two. It just feels better. It feels better engineered. It, it feels more... I don't know what a good word to use is. It's, um... I don't know. The mix of cards, and of course, this is also when they started to finally start working on the print quality, too. So you guys will notice a lot of the cards and the colors that are very bold and the quality. Night of Autumn, very cool card. Um, is still very... The quality was a little bit better than it was in the, like, Amon Ket Hour of Devastation era. When, you know, Iconic Masters, when things were getting pretty rough on the quality control. Legion War Boss. Very, very nice Goblin Rare there. Well, zero Shocklands in the second batch of packs. That was disappointing. You started off really strong, Mario. And then, uh, you, it looks like you, fit, you got too excited too quick. Giant Spider. Ooh, Foil Rare. Coming through with the secrets for our first Foil Rare in the video. I thought when we had those first two Shocklands in the first 12 packs, I was like, man, we may actually get all five Shocks in this video. And then uh, we all got kind of cocky, and uh, the troll. Now we've gone literally 13, 14 packs with no shock lands. And now we're in the last 10. We need three shocks. I don't know if we're going to get there. Risk Factor coming through with a cool-looking barrier of bones. By the way, you don't see many actual walls anymore. I just want to lay that out there. I, you know, that, that's one thing I miss about old-school magic, man. I remember as a kid and everything, we played a lot of decks. We all used walls. <laughs> I, I really liked that. It was it had a cheesy kind of old-school feel. It was, it was kind of nice. It was symbolic. It was symbolic of the era. I think that's kind of the best way to say it, I think. And we got the Bounty of Might. Well, um, I we were doing good, and then I guess we all... I don't know what's going on. Drowned Secrets. We've had no Shocklands. Like, we are just getting crushed in the Shockland game right now. Got the Phoenix, though, and... Uh, that was pretty nice. And we got the gruesome Menagree. Alright. So, but anyways, uh, I really, really kind of impressed by this product. I think it's actually turned out really well long term. And uh, Unmoored Ego. Wow. Seriously? Four packs left? Are you kidding me? Where are the shocks? Mission briefing. Even the camera's like, do I keep filming? And a second foil rare, Deafening Clarion. Um, that was actually, uh, that one had a lot of act little action back in the day. Back in the day. I can't believe I'm talking like this set's like super old already. And here we go, Soul of the Accord. Very, very cool piece of art there. I do like that. But nice little rare. Last two packs. Um, only two Shocklands. Absolute swing and a miss on the Shockland game. Hey, Watery Grave coming through in the close for the shirt. Third shot, come on. If we can bounce the four shock lands right in the close, that'd be epic. Can you imagine? Oh! <laughs> no. Are you kidding me, Mario? <laughs> wow. In the close, four out of five shocks. That's, that's pretty impressive, man. Well played on the Mario's Gaming World from Kent to Kent. I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless, bro. Like, literally, I want to send you the owl from this box. Like, I am absolutely stunned. You just pulled off two extra shock lands right in the end of the close of this video. That was stunning! Holy crap, what an epic surprise. All right, let me move my piles here so I don't just completely cause a complete disaster of a mess. And everyone starts going crazy because I just have cards falling everywhere and OCD kicks in and... Yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to try to straighten this up a little bit. There we go. A lot, okay, a lot, lot better. Here we go. I cannot believe we just pulled that off. That is unbelievable. Okay, are we good? Let me get everything in line here. All our piles, we don't have a mess. Okay, we're good. Are we ready? Is everybody ready? Okay. Into Allegiance. All right. 
Now, let me give everybody a little piece of information as far as the uh, guilds versus allegiance type of uh, mindset. I will tell everybody right up front that the guilds of Ravnica uh, outsold Ravnica allegiance by quite a bit, actually. It was pretty surprising the difference between uh, these two products. You would think they'd be pretty much almost equal. Emergency powers! Mythic number one. Here we go. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, just put that in another pile. And yeah, so Ravnica Allegiance is, is still it's still good, but uh, it definitely does not have the strength that Guilds has. Guilds was always a stronger performer. Uh, most stores I know actually did a little bit larger box openings on Guilds. And again, it was the first set in the block too. Perception. And again, you know, usually again, beginning of a new block or a new set or always obviously people are more excited and has a little bit more energy surrounding it. So that always uh, plays a part. Electro Dominance, very nice. And Rudy's High School Vehicle. Rudy's High School Ford Tempo. There it is. All right, folks. Don't make fun of me. It is what it is. Hot pink in color. Hot pink in color. Here we go. So we'll see how the, uh, the Fetch Land Challenge goes. Here we go. Number one already. All right. One. Did I say Fetch Land? I think I just said Fetch Land. Why do I do that? I do that. I did that some other times in the other uh, videos we did for the Shocklands. By the way, that artwork is still nuts, isn't that? And, of course, a bedevil. Very cool. All right, here we go, everybody. We're going for it. We're not going to screw around. We're going to make it happen. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Come on. Gutter bones. Nope. Come on, shock lands. Give me the shocks. Or a good mythic or something special. Give me something. Is assassin? No, we missed assassin trophy. That was uh, guilds, right? And showstopper for the demon? Come on. Mythic number two, Dr. Showstopper? Yeah. All right, all right. Come on. Shocks. We want the shocks. And deputy of Rudy's middle school detention. It happens. All right, come on. Here we go. Give me the shocks, baby. Give me... Ah! The, the reveler. Come on. Really? All right. First 12 packs are done. We are entering the second chunk of the box. We are only at one shock land absorb and a rubber belt. Rudy's running to school. Terrible. Oil common. No value. All right, here we go. Come on, ready? One, two, three. And the giant Ravager Worm. Okay, okay. Mythic number three. Three Mythics in the first 13 packs. That's, okay, that's slightly above average. Not the greatest Mythics, but you know what? We're going to take it. And we got ourselves the old Revival Revenge. Come on. So, so far, we're at five out of ten Shocklands. Obviously, the... Now, we have had a box opening before. We did have more than five sh uh, shocks. It's highly improbable, but we have actually had it happen before. So it is still possible to get ten shock lands in this video today. And uh, the bedazzle again, really. Flipping bedazzle. Come on, it's the 90s. We're going to bedazzle all our clothes so we feel cool. Godless shrine coming through. There we go, folks. Shock land. Number two with the giant artifact claws. All right, approaching halfway through the box. Got ourselves two shocks right in the middle there. One, two, three. Coming through with cinder vines. All right, come on. Come on, baby. We got this. We got this. Stay focused, everyone. We're going to make this happen. We're going to make it happen. Ah, really? Flipping Warren to Warden? Come on. All right, come on, Mario. Give me the shocks. Give me the shocks. Two, three. Tomb of the Guild Pact. And ugh, the Rudy the Creeper, really? Rudy the Creeper, come on. Come on, shocks. Come on, baby. And, ugh, absolution. Well, we're not doing that great now. We are only at two shocks. We just crossed halfway through Allegiance. Uh, well, we got a couple Mythics. Not really any home run pulls, but... And Judith. God, I remember that was a really hot card at launch. You guys remember that? Dude, Judith sold like crazy for 2 to $4 a card. That was a nutso card. I remember seeing that all over the internet. Mirror March for the swing and a miss. Come on! Don't tell what are you going to do some shady? We're going to do a double uh, shock land right at the end of the video again? All right, and feeder of horrors for the regular rare. Come on. Come on. I'm not, I'm not losing hope. I'm not giving up. I don't give up until the video ends. That is me on the shield. That's how we roll, folks. At Timmy's Emporium, ah, the Wayfinder. That's me creeping on the X. It happens. It happens. Don't pretend. You all do it. We all do it. I know. Sometimes we carpool together and we do it. One, two, three. 
Incubation Druid. Eh, that's, that's still a pretty cool card. Not gonna lie. That was always a pretty good uh, little elf card. All right, folks. We're into the last batch of 12 packs now. We, uh, we're not doing that great in the shocks. Lumbering Battlement. Oh, God, I thought we had a good foil rare. Azurus Knight Arbiter. Come on, folks. Last 12 packs. Come on. Stay with me. Come on. One, two, three. Ah, really? Yeah, these, I just, you guys know how I feel about the split cards. I've never been a fan of the split cards. To this day, I'm still just not a split card person. Sentence Drill Bits. Spawn of Mayhem. Finally, a good Mythic. I know it's not worth as much as it was at the peak, but still. Mythic number four coming through with a strong, good hit. Very, very nice. That thing was like 10, 20 bucks at, at launch. You guys remember that? Font of Agonies. Very beautiful card. Still not worth much. Hang on. Sorry. Don't want that pile to fall over. Well, I'm starting to feel that uh, we're either going to need a miracle at the end here. We're going to need literally a, a brick of Shocklands. And, oh, oh, oh! Okay. Okay. Number three. There we go. We're at seven Shocklands. Come on, baby. <laughs> we have a chance. We have a chance. I'm not giving up. All right. Mr. T. The taker of T's. I know. I'm censoring myself, folks. I'm censoring myself. I know. Okay. Okay. Come on. One, two, three. Ah, mass manipulation. Oh! Oh! Growth Chamber Guardian. Very, very nice, beautiful foil rare. Very nice hit. I don't know if that's still worth a lot. It was, but I know at release it was, but very nice. Okay. I think it's a second foil rare. Very nice. And Biogenic Ooze for the Mythic again. Mythic number five, I think? Okay. That's actually pretty decent. Okay. Pretty happy about that. All right. Well, we're into the close here. One, two, three. And beautiful, beautiful Tessa showing up. And Rudy being creepy freaking out. All right, all right. Very last pack today, everybody. Uh, Mario, thank you very much for being a very kind patron. Enjoy all the fancy cards. Oh, and a breeding bull in the clothes. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess you just like to, you're just a last minute surprise kind of guy, man. Wow, not bad. Not bad, folks. We are looking at a whopping, like a nine mythic, nine or ten mythic video we ended up actually with eight uh, Shocklands, multiple foil rares. This actually turned out pretty strong. That's a lot better than I thought. Man, that was because we started off with only two, and then we started with just two. Wow, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, uh, be safe out there, and I always appreciate the views, the support, and the honor and privilege to entertain. Thank you all very much.